एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो फ्रेंड्स विद दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर डिटरमाइनिंग द कंसिस्टेंसी दैट इज वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ फ्रेशली मिक्सड कॉन्क्रीट अपैरेटिस कंपैक्शन फैक्टर अपैरेटिस बैलेंस टैंपिंग रॉड सैंपल फ्रेश सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम द गिवन सीमेंट फाइन एंड कोर्स एग्रीगेट्स वॉटर The compacting factor test is designed primarily for use in the laboratory but it can also be used in the field. It is more precise and sensitive than the slump test and is particularly useful for concrete mixes of very low workability as are normally used when concrete is to be compacted by vibration. The method applies to plain and air entrained concrete made with lightweight normal weight or heavy aggregates having a nominal maximum size of 40 mm or less but not to aerated concrete or no fines concrete procedure the sample of concrete is placed in the upper hopper up to the brim the trap door is opened so that the concrete falls into the lower hopper The trap door of the lower hopper is opened and the concrete is allowed to fall into the cylinder. The excess concrete remaining above the top level of the cylinder is then cut off with the help of plane blades. The cylinder is filled with a fresh sample of concrete and vibrated to obtain full compaction. The concrete in the cylinder is weighed again. This weight is known as the weight of fully compacted concrete. Strike off the top with the trowel or tamping rod so that the mold is exactly filled. Remove the cone immediately, raising it slowly and carefully in the vertical direction. As soon as the concrete settlement comes to a stop, measure the subsidence of concrete in millimeter which will give the slump. calculations and observations in terms of volume of concrete required v weight of cement to be taken c weight of sand to be taken weight of coarse aggregate to be taken weight of empty cylinder w1 weight of cylinder plus partially compacted concrete w2 weight of cylinder plus fully compacted concrete w3 W by C ratio compaction factor equal to weight of partially compacted concrete by weight of fully compacted concrete are made Data collection and tabulation is as shown in the figure Hi students today we are going to discuss experiments on workability The first experiment what we are discussing on workability today is compaction factor test. So, uh, what do you mean by workability? The ease with which the concrete can be worked, we call it as a workability. So, uh, more workable the concrete is, it will be good for placing, transportation, and compaction things. So, first go to the apparatus required. Apparatus required for compaction factor test. So, this what we call it as a compaction factor test setup so if you keenly observe it is having two hoppers one is top hopper other one is a bottom hopper and we are having one cylindrical mold at the bottom if you keenly observe the first hopper is having 250 mm diameter on the top and 125 mm diameter on the bottom the height of this hopper is the height of this hopper is 275 mm and the second hopper is having 230 mm diameter at the top and 125 mm diameter at the bottom and it's having a height of 230 mm the height of fall from first hopper to the second hopper is 280 mm and from second hopper to the cylindrical mold is 250 mm so the cylindrical mold is having a diameter of 15 cm and having a height of 30 cm 
if you keenly observe there is a liver which which is attached to the both the hoppers this what we call it as a opening lid if i rotate it there is one plate which is attached it okay so which will be used for making the concrete to fall from first hopper to the second hopper same way from the second hopper to the mold we have one more lid so if i open this the entire mix in the second hopper falls directly to the mold so the other ingredients which we are going to use is we are going to take up the cement here we consider the ordinary portland cement of 5 kg and we are going to take up the coarse aggregate passing 20 mm down along with that we will be taking the fine aggregate the other equipment required for the test are the concrete mixer the tray for mixing the concrete or for placing the concrete and the third one is the table vibrator for compacting the concrete the second step is preparation of mix as of now we taken 2 and 1/2 kg of cement 5 kg of fine aggregate and 7 and 1/2 kg of coarse aggregate which comes to ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 we generally do it for m20 grade concrete for the first trial i am considering the water cement ratio as 0.4 we start mixing the concrete first what we are doing going to do is we make sure that the concrete mixer is on the inner side it is smeared with the oil so first what we'll do is we add the coarse aggregate so we are going to add the coarse aggregate to the concrete mixer after coarse aggregate the fine aggregate will be added After this, the cement will be added along with the water which is prescribed for this particular mix. Add the water. We are pouring the entire mix of concrete onto the tray. before starting the compaction factor test the empty weight of the compaction mold is noted down this is this weight we call it as w1 we are going to conduct the experiment on compaction factor so the prepared mix is transferred into the first hopper so after placing the mix the lid of the hopper is open whatever the mix is allowed to fall on the second hopper the lid of the second hopper is opened and the total mix is going to fall on the mold what we are going to do is we are going to just scoop out this and we are going to weigh the weight of mold plus partially compacted concrete the weight of the partially compacted concrete along with the cylinder is noted down the 
we call this weight as W2. After taking W2, the entire mix in the mold will be dumped back to a tray. What we are going to do now is, to this empty mold, I am going to refill the concrete in three equal layers with 25 number of tampings to each layer. So, what we are doing is, we are putting the concrete in three equal layers. So instead of tamping, I am using the vibration. So I am placing the second third layer to the mouth. We are placing the third layer, the final layer. Similarly, the third layer is also prepared. What we are going to do, observe here is the weight of fully compacted concrete. Okay, so we, in this particular mold, we have the fully compacted concrete is going to be present. What we are going to do now is we are going to weigh this. That is the weight of the mold plus fully con compacted concrete. We are going to call it as W3. So this is W3, the ratio of weight of partially compacted concrete to the fully compacted concrete we are going to call it as compaction factor. So you can get a compaction factor value from 0 0.7 to 1, 1 indicates that your theoretical compact, your uh, uh, what we call uh, practical compaction and the compaction from the free fall are equal. Okay. So that generally happens for the self-compacting concrete. For other mixes, somewhere you will get a value less than 1. This completes compaction factor test. At MSR UAS, we spark your imagination unlike any other.